Interesting you mentioned the word risk off the table because I've look, if I look once again through this portfolio, there's not one stock that has a massive holding within a portfolio. Do you do a bit of top slicing? Why? Give me two examples of where you would sell or buy a stock because there's definitely no um, slanting of this, of this portfolio into one specific sector or stock. So I think to top slice, so we do like to manage risk. So even if we love a company such as Visa, we did recently reduce it a little bit because we felt that it got, it was became about waiting. 9% of the portfolio. Okay. And we felt like there's other great ideas out there. We have a universe of about 1,500 stocks we can look at and we are continuously looking for new ideas. So it's just to take a little bit of risk off the table there and then replace it. So for instance, Visa we replaced with BlackRock, another great company, global leader in asset management. So it is by far the world's biggest asset manager. They have just under 7 trillion under management, USD. Um, in the past year, they've grown um, the AUM by 5%. In you know, you wouldn't say, I mean, I think the U.S. is slowing down to a certain extent. So that's absolutely fantastic. They were able to raise 350 million. Um, why we like them in particular, obviously this is a sector where there has been a lot of pressure on fees, but two thirds of the AUM is uh, passive investing, okay, so they have a uh, much smaller portion of active investing. So they're not reliant as much as other AU, uh, asset managers on that fee? Yes, but also they would have felt the pressure in terms of fees across their, across their holdings, but I think what they have a very much of a tech focus and what that has meant is they've been able to be very um, streamlined. Mm. Uh, they basically have quite a low cost structure. They have a system called the Aladdin system, which is a great customer retention tool. So this is a risk management and a portfolio management system where um, their, their clients can use and they can also use themselves. So in an environment where most asset managers are feeling operating margin pressure, they're actually growing their operating margin, yeah. which is Absolutely, like in this sort of environment, it's a great feat. And then just second to that, they are looking at emerging markets. They're looking at going into China. They're looking at going into some Southern American can, um, countries. So, you know, they, they were, they're moving forward. And I think, I think it's a great play for us.